recommend our greenhouses are securely fixed to a suitable base. The ideal base is a single course of bricks. Please see separate video for details of how to construct your base. In this video we will be assembling a classic 6x8 with a sliding door. The greenhouses come delivered in separate pre-assembled panels. First identify the two gable ends and fit corner bracket PT106 to the gable end plinths as shown. Slide the side wall to the gable ends. The tongue on the side wall should fit into the groove on the gable end. Ensure the top of the side wall is flush with the gable end. Hold the two panels together using a clamp if you have one. When you are happy, fix together using screw type SC027 and washer WA301. Repeat the process for all four corners. The next step is to lift the ladder frame into position and locate it onto the pre-fitted support blocks. Ensure the ladder frame is level with the support block and fix at each end using screw type SC055. Using a 5mm HSS drill bit, drill the aluminium ridge at a 45 degree angle as shown and fix using screw type SC055. Once the ridge is fitted, lift the two roof panels into position as shown. The roof panels are pre-drilled with countersunk holes on both ends and the top and bottom rail. Start by fixing the bottom rail to the side wall. From the inside ensure the two pieces are flush as shown and fix into position using screw type SC055. Next fit the end rails to the gables ensuring the panel is held firmly into position. Fix using screw type SC055. Finally fix the roof panel to the ridge using screw type SC055. Repeat the process for both roof panels. Identify the two aluminium ridge trims and fix them into position on the ladder frame. Ensure the trim is flush with the roof panel and fix in position using screw type SC125. Repeat the process for both sides. The next step is to slide the ridge ventilation flaps into the ridge channels as shown. Position the ridge ventilation flaps centrally. Slide in both ridge ventilation flaps. Next, fit the ridge vent end caps to each flap as shown using screw type SC121. With both ridge vent end caps fitted to both ends of the ridge vents, the next step is to fit the automatic ridge vent opener. On the inside of the ladder frame you will find two pre-fitted screws. Remove these and loosely fit the auto vent mechanism as shown. Then slide in two VL122 bolts and WA500 washers through the vent flap. Line up the bracket on the auto vent opener and fit nuts NU101. Tighten these fully. Finally from inside fix the two wood screws fully to the ladder frame. Repeat the process for both sides. Lift the gutter into position centrally ensuring equal overhang at each end. Fix the gutter into position using screw type SC125 along its length. The gutters have two large holes at each end. Choose which end you want your downpipe. Fit the gutter spigot PT200 to this end by unscrewing the two components and fitting through the hole as shown. The opposite hole should be sealed off using gutter bung PT204 as shown. Finally fit both gutter end caps AL3003 using screw type SC121. Repeat the process for the second gutter. Position the greenhouse centrally on the base. With the brick base built to the correct dimensions the plinth should overhang by approximately 20mm all around. Drill the timber frame and aluminium plinth using a 9mm HSS drill bit. 
Ensure you are fixing to a solid brick and not into a brick joint. Then using an 8mm by 150mm masonry drill, drill to a depth of 110mm from the top. Knock in a raw plug to the full depth of the hole. To do this use screw type SC058 and washer WA501 as shown. Finally fix the screw into position. Position the remaining fixings proportionately around the greenhouse at points to hold it firmly in place. The next step is to glaze the roof. The roof panel has pre-cut rebates machined into the roof rafters to house the glass pane. We recommend two people for glazing the structure wearing safety goggles and gloves whenever handling glass. Slide in the first glass pane ensuring it sits into the grooves and slides under the rubber gasket in the ridge trim. Lower the glass pane down carefully so that it fits neatly against the upstand on the gutter. Identify the aluminium roof cappings and fix the first capping into position using screw type SC125. Work along the greenhouse roof fitting each glazing pane in turn followed by the next aluminium capping. Work along both sides fitting all the glass roof panels and aluminium cappings using the same process. To glaze the side walls remove all the pre-fitted timber cappings. Slide in the first glazing pane into the top section. The top rail and mullion are recessed to locate the glass. Ensure the glass panel is pushed back on its sill. Fit the lower pane using the same process. Once happy, replace the timber capping using the screw type SC305 and washer WA300. Work along the structure fitting all the glazing panes and replacing the cappings as you go. Once the sides are glazed, repeat the process for the end gables. Again, remove the timber cappings marking their location. Slide in all the glass and refit the timber cappings, securing with the brass screws and washers. Glaze both gable ends. Fit the downpipe shoe PT201 to the downpipe. Push the downpipe up into the gutter spigot and hold in place by fixing the bottom bracket PT203. Fix this to the frame using screw type SC125. Next, using a 3mm HSS drill bit, drill the aluminium downpipe through the hole in the spigot. Fix using screw type SC121. Fit the door runner by sliding it into the pre fitted door runner guide. Push the door runner through until the end lines up with the outer face of the timber capping. Fix in place using screw type SC126 through the holes both sides of the door opening. Next slide the door onto the door runner ensuring the wheels slide onto the track as shown and the groove in the bottom of the door slides on the bottom door runner guide. Fit the door runner end caps AL3002 to each end of the door runner. Fix in place using screw type SC121. Finally slide into position the door runner support guide as shown and fix through the hole that aligns with the roof end gable. Fix using screw type SC126. Finally fit the door handles using screw type SC026 and washer WA301. The inner handle acts as a doorstop. Fit the outer handle slightly higher or lower than the inner handle so the fixing screws do not clash. The door hasp can be fitted to any location on the door. In this case we are fixing it just under the door track. Fix using screw type SC125. Align the staple to the hasp and fix using screw type SC004. The greenhouse is now ready to use.